So, let us uh, work out an example um, involving the um, uh, concepts that we uh, discussed in the previous class. Uh, a converging diverging nozzle with an exit to throat area ratio of 3.5 operates with inlet stagnation conditions of uh, 1 mega Pascal and 500 Kelvin. Determine the exit conditions when the back pressure is 20 kilo Pascal A and B 500 kilo Pascal assume air to be the working fluid. Okay. So, we are given the uh, inlet stagnation conditions. So, uh, in uh, the analysis of such problems, what we would typically do is uh, determine the, uh, uh, the exit pressure corresponding to um, uh, solution F, solution E and uh, solution B. So, once we do this, then uh, we can actually determine uh, where the given exit condition lies and then proceed accordingly. Okay. Notice that B and C, so solution B and I am sorry B and F are actually isentropic solutions for the given area ratio. So, isentropic solution for the given A exit over A throat. So, B corresponds to the subsonic solution. So, B corresponds to uh, M exit being less than 1 and F corresponds to the supersonic solution with M exit being greater than 1, but same area ratio isentropic solution. Okay. So, let us uh, proceed. So, let us first um, uh, retrieve the um, uh, value from the isentropic table corresponding to supersonic exit. So, for the given area ratio which is 3.5, uh, we may retrieve the following quantities. So, 3.5 uh, and the supersonic uh, solution. So, A over A star uh, 3.5 lies here. Okay. So, Mach number at exit is uh, 2.8 and P naught over P, T naught over T are all, all may be retrieved from the table. Okay. So, exit Mach number is 2.8, P naught over P E may be retrieved from the table. So, the exit pressure for this case is 36.85 kilo Pascal. Okay. So, if you uh, go to the previous one, instead of plotting P0, uh, P over P0 inlet, if you plot, okay, let us uh, try to plot it afresh. Okay. So, throat, let us say this is the exit. So, the supersonic solution, the pressure is 36.85 kPa. So, this corresponds to solution F from the previous uh, graph. Now, subsonic exit again for the same area ratio, we now retrieve the uh, subsonic solution. So, for the same area ratio, we go to the subsonic branch. So, 2.5 area ratio falls between uh, these two entries. So, Mach number falls between these two values and uh, P naught over P, okay, P naught over P falls between uh, these two values. Yeah, area ratio is 3.5. So, that means uh, it falls between these two entries. and Mach number falls between these two entries. Okay. Fine. So, we have to interpolate and uh, retrieve the values. So, if you do that, the exit Mach number comes out to be 0.1682 and exit pressure comes out to be 980.4 kilo Pascal. So, that would be the, uh, the subsonic isentropic solution. Let us use a slightly different color to denote that. Okay. So, that corresponds to 960.4. Uh, I am sorry, 980.4 kilo Pascal. So, 980.4 kPa. The next solution uh, is the one corresponding to normal shock at exit or curve E that we have shown in the uh, previous graph. So, for this case, uh, if you recall, uh, we have the nozzle. So, we have the nozzle that looks like this and a normal shock stands uh, just at the uh, exit. 
Okay? Since the thickness of the shock is very small, the Mach number upstream of the shock may uh, be taken to be uh, 2.8 itself. Okay? We need not, uh, we are not going to account for the thickness of the shock. So, Mx may be taken to be 2.8 and from the normal shock table for Mx equal to 2.8, we can get My equal to this and the ratio of static pressures to be 8.98. So, the exit pressure in this case works out to be 8.98 times 36.85 which is 330.91 kilo Pascal. Okay? So, this solution let us uh, use a slightly different color for this. Uh, okay, let us see, we have already used green, uh, maybe brown. So, this solution has an exit pressure of 330.91 kPa. Okay, so, now we have the 3 pressure values corresponding to the, uh, the 3 regimes. So, now we are in a position to proceed with the analysis. First case, since the given uh, back pressure is 20 kilo Pascal and that is less than the design value, notice that uh, 20 kilo Pascal is even less than this value. So, 20 kilo Pascal would uh, come somewhere there. So, that is even less than this which means that uh, the flow is under expanded, there is some more expansion that needs to take place outside the nozzle and the values for the exit properties are the same as design values. There is no change in the uh, uh, flow field inside the nozzle. Part B, the exit, uh, I am sorry, the back pressure is given to be 500 kilo Pascal, which lies between, as you can see, uh, which lies between this solution 330.91 and this solution which is 980.4. So, that means 500 comes somewhere over there. So, that means the solution that we are looking for is going to look something like this. Okay, so, there is a normal shock somewhere in the divergent portion of the nozzle. So, there is a normal shock in the divergent portion of the nozzle. Um, there are couple of ways in which we can determine uh, the, uh, uh, the location of the normal shock okay, that is uh, most important uh, and the exit mark number. So, we need to determine both these quantities. So, there are couple of ways in which we can uh, do this. Let us go through the first one um, uh, which is very accurate. Let us see. So, uh, the mass flow rate at the throat section and the exit section may be written like this and they are equal. Right. So, we rewrite um, density in terms of I mean using the equation of state and we do the same for the exit density also. And then if you rearrange this you get something like this where you have taken the PE to the left hand side. And if you simplify this expression further. The left hand side contains quantities which are all known. So, A e over A throat is given to be 3.5, uh, square root of gamma plus 1 over 2 known, P 0 1 is uh, 1 impa or 1000 kilo Pascal, P exit is given to be, uh, because it is subsonic, the exit pressure is equal to the ambient pressure. right? So, the exit pressure in this case is 500 kilo Pascal. So, if you substitute the values, we uh, get this expression from which we can solve for the exit Mach number which comes out to be 0.327 and the exit stagnation pressure comes out to be 538.435 kilo Pascal. Okay? So, the stagnation pressure has decreased from 1000 kilo Pascal to 538.435 kilo Pascal. So, that is almost a 50 percent uh, loss of uh, stagnation pressure. Now, if you actually uh, uh, look at the uh, the flow situation that we have uh, and that we have drawn, so let us uh, draw it again here. So 
So, normal shock sits somewhere over here. So, we label this as x and this state as y. So, P0 upstream up to uh, I mean P0 upstream of the shock wave is 1000 k pa and P0 downstream of the shock wave is 538 k pa. So, P0 y over P0 x is equal to 0 0.538435. Okay, 0 0.538435. So, we may now go to the normal shock table. Um, okay. <coughs> so, P02 over P01, 0 0.53845. So, that falls somewhere between these two. And so, the uh, Mach number upstream of the shock wave is uh, between 2.4 and 2.5. So, by interpolation, we can get the Mach number to be uh, 2.405. So, this is the Mach number just ahead of the shock wave. Now, the flow is isentropic up to uh, the shock wave. So, we can go to uh, the isentropic table and retrieve A over A star corresponding to this value of Mach number to be 2.414. So, the normal shock occurs at a location where A over A throat is 2.414. Remember, the flow is choked at the throat. So, A throat is equal to A star upstream of the shock wave. Okay, so, we now have a complete description of the flow field with uh, based on the given uh, ambient pressure which is 500 kilo Pascal. Now, an alternative uh, method of uh, solution for this is to actually uh, start by assuming the, um, uh, the location of the shock wave. So, basically what we uh, do is the following. So, we guess the location of the shock wave. In this case, our first guess is that it occurs at a location A over A throat equal to uh, 2. Okay. So, once we have this from the isentropic table, we can retrieve uh, this value for Mx. This is the Mach number just upstream of the shock wave. Once we have this Mach number, we can then go to the normal shock table and uh, calculate P0y over P0x where P0y is the stagnation pressure immediately downstream of the shock wave. Now, uh, we may calculate A exit over A y star. Notice that when you have uh, when you have a shock let us call this x and let us call this y as we are doing. Uh, let me just uh, draw this slightly differently so that we have more room here. So, when we have a normal shock sitting somewhere here and uh, this is x and this is y, notice that uh, the sonic state upstream of the shock wave uh, occurs at the throat, right? So, A x star is equal to A throat. Whereas, the sonic state downstream of the uh, shock wave occurs at some other uh, hypothetical location. Actually, the flow leaves the uh, nozzle at a subsonic Mach number, but if we want the uh, sonic state, then we could actually do something like this. So, we could actually construct uh, a convergent throat like this. I am sorry. Uh, So, this would be A y star. And of course, this is the exit. So, this is A e. So, A e over A y star may be evaluated like this. So, we uh, write A e over A y star as A e over A throat times A throat over A y star. A e over A throat is equal to 3.5 that is given in the problem statement. 
Okay. Now, A thrown over A y star has to be determined by using the fact that the mass flow rate, uh, choked mass flow rate through uh, this throat and the choked mass flow rate through the second throat are both equal. Okay. So, that is where this comes from. Okay. So, uh, this is the, uh, this is part of the expression for the choked mass flow rate through uh, the uh, first throat and we have uh, cancelled out the expression involving the properties of air and this is the mass flow rate uh, through the second throat. So, this is the first throat. So, from this you can get the fact that A y star over A throat is equal to P 0 x over P 0 y. Now, what is important about this is that the ratio P 0 x over P 0 y is greater than 1, which means that the, uh, the second throat has to have a higher cross sectional area to swallow the same mass flow rate because of the loss in stagnation pressure across the shock wave. It cannot be the same area as the first throat, it cannot be smaller than uh, the uh, area of the first throat, it has to be larger than the area of the first throat by an amount equal to or by an amount which is dependent on the loss of stagnation pressure so that it can swallow the same mass flow rate. It is a very important uh, concept that uh, comes from uh, looking at this, I mean solving this problem in the alternative uh, manner. Okay. So, I can now calculate, so I can now calculate A e uh, over A y star with the values. So, I know P 0 y over P 0 x and uh, um, uh, a throat, uh, I am sorry, a e over a, a y star is also known. So, I have this value. Now, with this value, if I go to the isentropic table, I get the corresponding P 0 e over P e and from which I can evaluate the exit static pressure. Okay, so, this has to be done in a sequence like this from left to right. So, we guess the area ratio at uh, or the location at which the normal, sh uh, normal shock occurs. Then we get m x Mach number ahead of the shock wave, just ahead of the shock wave. Then you get the ratio of stagnation pressures across the shock wave from the normal shock table. Then we evaluate A e over A y star. Okay. And then with that we go to the isentropic table to retrieve the value for P 0 exit over P exit from which we can calculate P exit. Remember P 0 exit itself is known. So, P 0 exit is equal to P 0 y and P 0 y itself is uh, known because the ratio P 0 y over P 0 x is known. So, that means P 0 x equal to P 0 1 which is given to be 1000 k power. Okay. So, P 0 e uh, or uh, so P 0 e is thus known. So, I can get the exit static pressure. Now, normally what we would do is we will choose this uh, the guess initial guess for uh, the um, shock location by making the following observation. Remember, uh, so A e over A throat. Now, the actual location of the shock wave is uh, between um, uh, two places here where the area ratio is 1 and here where the area ratio is 3.5. So, it lies between 1 and 3.5. So, typically we would uh, take the arithmetic average of the 2 and then take that to be our first guess. So, that occurs right in the middle of the diverging portion. Now, we have not done that in this present example because that would have been too close to the final answer. So, I wanted 2 or 3 iterations to demonstrate how this uh, procedure goes about. Okay. So, our next guess would be 2.5 for the area ratio. So, we go through the same uh, procedure. So, corresponding to 2 point area ratio 2.5, we get uh, the Mach number upstream of the shock wave to be 2.443. Then we go through the same procedure and we get our exit pressure to be 482. Remember our target value is 500 kilo Pascal. Okay. So, we have now straddled so, these two values straddle the um, uh, target value of 500 kilo Pascal. So, we make a slight adjustment, we take area to be area ratio to be 2.42 and we get the exit pressure to be 497 kilo Pascal which is probably close enough. Okay. The exact value that we obtained from the previous calculation is 2.414 whereas here we are getting 2.42. Further adjustments of course, are possible but probably not worthwhile. This itself is acceptable. 
So, this procedure although it is somewhat more involved is more insightful because it uh, allows us to understand uh, for instance you know the concept of the sonic state. The fact that the sonic state is different upstream of the normal shock wave and different downstream of the I am sorry uh, different from what is there upstream of the shock wave to what is there downstream of the shock wave. And the fact that the second throat has to be larger than the first throat in order to swallow the same mass flow rate on account of the loss of stagnation pressure across the normal shock wave. Okay. So, this illustrates the importance of uh, the sonic state as a reference state. Remember here the sonic state is this sonic state is a uh, hypothetical sonic state whereas this one is real this is happening at the throat of the nozzle. So, this demonstrates the power, power of uh, the sonic state as a reference state and also the importance of uh, this expression here which is mass flow rate uh, choked mass flow rate through a nozzle.